Glad you all could make it today. My name is Fisticuffs. I am the, I guess you could call, in the trenches for the community of first person shooter gaming. I specialize in what you would call first person shooter relevancy and release dates and other things that pertain to your game being successful. So what we're going to cover today is what is the best time to release your first person shooter game. And the reason that I made this video or the reason I'm making this video, this video presentation is because I keep seeing the same mistakes over and over and over again by companies that are trying to compete with the Call of Duty franchises. So here I'm going to give you some examples and try to help you out best understand the westernized uh, social economic diversion of the United States and the North Americas and what would be the best opportunity for your game to make it. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at Call of Duty. Right here, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December months of the year. Most of the time you'll see Call of Duty released in November. Call of Duty is released in November. And the reason why the game is released in these latter parts of the, of the year is because everybody goes back to school. Goes back, they go back to school. Go back to school. Okay? That's when everybody goes back to school. Now, if you are a, a if you are a marketing director, uh, if you're the person that is in charge of these concepts, you're going to have to start thinking outside the box with a saturated market like uh, first-person shooters, especially if you are trying to copy Call of Duty and you're not doing a better job than them. And you have to find a place for yourself, uh, then I'm here to help you. Because the th philosophy and the way that you should be thinking, uh, <clears throat> for example, you have to start thinking outside of the box. You have to, probably my best suggestion is go watch the movie Moneyball. This is a Moneyball situation. You have to change the game because the stuff that you guys are spending so much money on research and great game designs but they're always a failure and let me tell you why they're a failure so you have Call of Duty which dominates the the, the presence of going back to school September October November December Christmas presents so on and so forth that's where their status is at Call of Duty in November their whole thing is to catch everybody going back to school and catch everything going into December. Now, the mistake that I see these other companies like Medal of Honor, Electronic Arts, and uh, uh, Far Cry 3, and other first-person shooters, mainly the reason that this video is being made is because of M Medal of Honor and Far Cry 3. I, you know, it's one thing for Far Cry to copy Call of Duty it's another thing that it has it really doesn't have an audience where it's being released at and I'm trying to help um, them understand this by this video and Medal of Honor I can understand because you know EA has deep pockets and it is there to test whatever type of variant that they're doing into the next market for their their main franchise game Battlefield or a respawn game <clears throat> but let me show you how I can make your game more relevant and gain traction in the market and and have some purpose for being there. So the main the main problem what is happening is that Medal of Honor is being released in October. So you have to think to yourself, Medal of Honor is being released in October, and Call of Duty is released in November. You have all these kids coming back from summer vacation, summer vacation, 
summer jobs, all their money is going back into school, right? All their money is going right back into school. They got paid for books. They got everything going on. Mom and daddy is got to buy clothes, got to pay for tuition. The last thing that's on their mind is thinking about your game Medal of Honor when they know Call of Duty is coming out in November. Because that's where everybody's going to be. That's just the bottom line. So, um, what happened, you know, and then on top of that, you got Halo somewhere in the middle here. Halo, you know, it's not, I don't believe Halo is going to do that well, regardless, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's past its point. And that's the thing. Here's the thing. When you have a Jargonaut like Call of Duty and you have games are releasing around it, it makes no sense, especially when you're dealing with an American economy like ours. You know, you have to think about it. When kids leave school, they leave school in May and June. That's when they leave. Then they go to work in the summer, and then they're, they're doing whatever they're doing in the summertime. They're not playing your game, uh, the ones that are 18 and older. And they're doing, they're working, they're making money to get ready to go to school in the fall. And their parents and everybody else is saving money. So when you've got games like Medal of Honor and Halo coming out, and everybody knows that Call of Duty is going to be a successful game, they're not going to take a chance on your game. They're, I mean, they're going to be a, a small portion of people that are going to buy your game, but they're not going to. They're, your game is not going to make its return on its investment over the long haul. It's not even going to make its return. So. Going back to my, my other game that I'm really concerned about is um, Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 is released in September, which is even worse. So now you have, you have people coming right back from school the first month, September. So you got to think about this. Right out of summer, and everybody's got their money, and the mother and father has to buy books and all the supplies. Kids need new clothes. Everything. And they're like... Well, should I get should I get Far Cry 3 or should I wait a couple months and get Call of Duty where all my friends are going to be playing on it? You, does that make sense to you? They understand that? So now you got Far Cry 3, Medal of Honor, Call of Duty, and Halo. Look how saturated that market is right before that December because you think people are going to spend money on Christmas. First of all, your games have no traction. Far Cry 3... Medal of Honor, Halo, I mean, Halo is going to have some type of traction just because it's going to be an exclusive on Xbox and Microsoft. They spend a lot of money on advertising. But Call of Duty, you guys are bucking your head here. So let me show you. Let me show you if you're Far Cry 3, Medal of Honor, or Halo, this is what you should be doing, even if you're Respawn Entertainment. So... When Call of Duty comes out, see, I'm in the trenches. I know what I'm talking about. This is what happens. Call of Duty comes out. You expect to make all your money on Christmas. I mean, all these games think they're going to make their money on Christmas, like it's going to be a Christmas present. But you can make so much more money if you put traction behind your game. You know, people know your, know your franchise. They talk about it. They socialize about it. It's out there. It's on everybody's tongue. So... Um, now, let me go show you how you're going to do this. So Call of Duty comes out November, December, January, the end of February it's dead. Call of Duty lasts about four months. So, uh, the thing about it is, everybody's spending their money on Call of Duty and the map packs between November, December, January, February. By the time February comes, kids are still in school. They don't need new clothes. They're pretty much almost already done. They've been working and going to school. And spring and summer is just about around the corner. Now let me explain how beautiful this is for your situation. And nobody's over here. Look at how empty that is. You see that? There's nobody there. How much more money and traction you can make. So you have January, February. End of February. Far Cry 3. Move your release. Don't release your game at the end of this year. Believe me when I tell you this. Postpone your game until February, the last week of February or the second week of March. Let me tell you why. The first map pack comes out of Call of Duty. 
about February. A lot of people don't want to buy, don't, the way Call of Duty Elite set up and the whole situation, they're not happy with it. So, if you had the game coming out this year, you'd be, you would have gained a lot of traction. Medal of Honor, Halo, any of those games. So, here's my philosophy as to why your game would gain traction, and then, then the next time around, it would have some importance. So, Fire Cry would come out in end of February, because everybody's tired of Call of Duty by then, four months. They played the shit out of it, and they don't want to buy the map packs. So, the end of February comes, so you got Far Cry 3 comes out, Far Cry 3, FC3. Far Cry 3 comes out. Now you know you want to be like Call of Duty because your whole system with um, instant rewards in the screen and you know the, the the whole Call of Duty setup and everything. You know you're gunning for that some of that pie. But I'm gonna show you how to get more pie. So you release the game February and March, and you're like, why just to cuff would our marketing team miss Christmas and go for this over here because I'm giving you the money ball realization of what you're not seeing because I'm in the trenches I'm there every day I'm telling you what everybody wants so what happens is people are still in school February March they're bored they're already bored with Call of Duty there's nothing else to do so now Far Cry comes out now you got February March April, May, you got one, two, three months, three months without any competition, because when your game comes out, it's a new first person shooter, people are tired of Call of Duty, then when May, May, June comes out, May college gets out, right, college gets out, alright, is that what you're worried about, that they're not going to be there to play, here, look at it here, you're, you're, you're saying that Call of Duty, is worried about college kids. October, no, November, December, January, February, March, April, four months. You're getting the same four months. February, uh, March, April, May, and they get out somewhere in there. So you're getting the same amount of time. The only thing you're missing is Christmas. But here I'm going to show you where you're going to get that back. <clears throat> so now you've gained four months of new subscriber base game players in your game because it's new. It's like Call of Duty, but it's a different twist. You, you increased on it by one degree, made it a little bit better. Now here's the best part about your game. Now, May, June comes, the high school kids get out. The majority of Facebook is 38% is 12 and under. YouTube, 45% is 13 to 17 years old. People who cannot drive a car or go places. We're talking May, June, July, August. You got all of those kids playing your game. And then, by the time November comes, they jump back on Call of Duty. But now you've built a name. Now people are expecting something beautiful back in March and it starts to gain momentum. It starts to gain momentum and then when Call of Duty comes out, now you can release a map pack because you got your followers right here. You can do the map pack special on Christmas because now you've built up February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Six, seven months of loyalty. Same thing with Medal of Honor. All you guys should be releasing February, March, April. That's when you should be releasing. Is when right at the end of February when Call of Duty starts to die out. Because you, the, the age demographics in the social network of North America, 38% 12-year-olds 12, 12 on Facebook. 45% YouTube, 13- to 17-year-old. Those are the people who are not going anywhere. All spring and summer, they're going to be playing your game. Because they don't have a car. They're going to be playing your game. And there's nobody in here. There's no competition. And you guys are all fighting for people going back to school when they got to spend money for supplies and, and clothes and everything else and Christmas coming up. You're not only competing with Call of Duty, but you're competing with, you're competing with parents, you're competing with bills, you're competing with Christmas. You got all of this right here and there's nothing there. You're, nothing, you're competing against nothing. 
Money ball, money ball. Gotta think. Alright? So here, I've given you the formula. Go to cancel your release. Medal of Honor, cancel your release. Far Cry 3, cancel your release. Halo, cancel your release. If you're smart, you would listen to my advice. You would gain traction over six months. And then you could overtake this issue out here. You guys are banging your head. Banging your head trying to beat Call of Duty in the worst part of the year. You can't do it. So anyways. And I would even suggest Respawn Entertainment release their game in that area over here. Because by the time if you got big enough in this area, then the next year you can make the people wait and they would even be more excited and you can move your release to where Call of Duty had died. And you'd be... That's it. That's the ticket. So... That's my little conference for you today. If you'd like to hire me as your uh, sales executive director of uh, marketing and engineering or whatever you want to call it, you can send me a direct message on YouTube and I'll be glad to help your company make millions of dollars. Until next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace. I'm out.